Whoa. Let's try scaling this. This is a little hard to work with, so <clears throat> if the first time you're unwrapping doesn't look right, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to keep that. You can go back and remap it. So what we're going to do is we're going to deselect these, I guess, kind of interfaces. And we are going to just unwrap the front, what you see from the front. Right, let's see if that worked. Oh wait, just a few. You keep going back and trying this a million times if you want. Whatever works. Mr. Face. Alright. <clears throat> that looks good. Oh, up here, this doesn't exactly look like this shape-wise. If you want, you can go back and make it look like it. But, whatever works, I guess. Alright, we're going to do the same thing on this side, and this time we're just going to box select, or face select it all. I believe that's all the faces. Oh. <clears throat> it doesn't look like um, the faces we just unwrapped are here, but don't worry, they are. Whoa. We see they're up here. Ignore this mess up here. That's just ignore it. We're just reselecting all that stuff again so we can edit it like we did with the other one. Alright. Again, we're gonna make this look a little more like model, or make it look a little more like this. Yeah, that looks good.
of this stuff appears what we're gonna unwrap next Just unwrap that also you're gonna want to probably rem want to remember where you're putting everything on the UV map make sure nothing's colliding Right here, the stuff's colliding, so we're just gonna move this around. All right. So we're just gonna unwrap these sides. Simple enough. It's looks just like a box what you can do is you can put it up against the sides of this part everything looks right alright <clears throat> let's do the front side Do what we did before. And there we go. Now we're going to save as an image. Put this wherever you put your images. Now, when you don't have things selected, it's just black. So, <clears throat> here's what we want to do. Go back into object mode. Click on material. If you don't, make sure you have material to work with. Make sure you have, then you can go and make a texture. What we're going to do with this texture is, down in type, we're going to select the image or movie going to open that texture we just had so what we name it UB 
and we're going to set the mapping to UV. <coughs> Now what this does is in textured mode it'll <clears throat> it'll apply the UV map to the model and yeah, that's what it does. If you don't have to say, if you don't map it to um UV mapping, it'll just show up all random and all over the place. <clears throat> so yeah. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into texture paint mode. And so things don't show up just black, we're going to paint everything white. As you can see over here, it's making the UV map all white. This will make it easier when we edit the real image. But if you really want it, you can just make the real image. or the <clears throat> You can do all the image editing for the UV map in here if you really want to do, but we're not going to do. At least not yet. We might come back and do that later. fine little extra details now there are probably other ways that you can I don't know how to say it like um show where the texture coordinates are and all that but we're just gonna use this simple kind of works Look like everything. Now it looks kind of fady over here. Like right here. That doesn't matter because we know where it is. That's what matters. Save image. We're going to save this for now just because you want to be periodically saving. Alright, here we are in GIMP. Got our reference image opened. We've got our UV, our UV maps open. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to make a new layer called edits or whatever over your background image just so you have something in between and you're going to want to then you're going to want to take your uh, reference image <coughs> we're not going to just copy the whole thing and blab it on there that's not going to work so as you can see I have lasso selected this handle here also notice that I didn't select anything white I selected everything within the image or within the handle it's okay if you don't have it perfect just don't select any white because you don't want any white to show up out of nowhere on the model so edit copy that a new layer paste it and it, it's pasted up here just create another layer called pasted layer this way you can just edit it a little bit better now scale it to fit inside of that rotate it a little and if you look down here you can still see some of the whiteness so there fixed it and we can actually just copy that and paste it Oh, oh, create new 